Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's Common Council meeting. I would ask that everyone please speak loudly into, on, into your mic and that you attach it to your, either your dress or tie or, or coat. People are still uh, unable to hear us at some time when we, don't, when we hold it next to our, our, uh, in our hand next to our mouth. So please do that. And as always, before we start the meeting, we ask our city clerk to read the quote of the week. Thank you. One of the truest tests of integrity is its blunt refusal to be compromised. Thank you very much. Call the fifth regular meeting of the Common mm -hmm. Council of Order. Please call the roll. Boren. Here. Bauk. Here. Decker. Here. Gisha. Here. Hannah. Here. Heideman. Here. Kittleson. Here. Kleunis. Here. Meyer. Here. Montemayor. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Ryan. Here. Zurich. Here. Vanderweel. Here. Verhasselt. Here. And Wangaman. Here. 16 present. Quorum is present. Next item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. Alderman Decker, would you please lead us? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Alderman Decker. Approval of the minutes, President Hanna. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. If I may beg your indulgence, I think we need to recognize that Jeremy Decker was engaged over the weekend. Was what? Engaged? Je yes. Congratulations. Uh -huh. I'd move for the approval of the minutes. Second. Motion to second to approve minutes under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Minutes are approved. <coughs> Confirmation of mayor's appointments. Attorney McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Terry Hansen to be appointed as finance director commencing June 9, 2008 and expiring June 8, 2013, signed by the mayor. Thank you. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would make a motion to confirm Terry Hansen's appointment. Second. A motion and second to confirm appointment. Under discussion, Alderman Wagman. <laughs> We're hooked up here. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate the uh, bio that we were given on Mr. Hansen, and I'm quite impressed with his qualifications. I think you're, uh, he's very highly qualified to assume the job you've appointed him to. I would have been a lot happier if we had gotten bios on the other people that were also applied for these jobs. We're always asked to approve appointments, and it seems that we never have enough information to make this approval on. This is a very serious matter, especially in the appointment of a department head, and I think the alderman should be given as much information as possible to make that decision. In the past, we were asked to approve the appointments on many occasions where we had absolutely no information whatsoever on these people. I'm not saying that the committees don't, who are involved in this appointment procedure don't know what they're doing, but if you're going to ask the aldermen to approve these appointments, then please advise, or advise them of the information that's been gathered on these people so we can make an intelligent uh, decision. Otherwise, we're making a decision on uh, no basis at all. And, but I am pleased that we did get the uh, uh, bio on uh, Mr. Hansen. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wagman. Uh, I have been following protocol, practice, past practice, that I learned as an alderman. And we approved many department heads when I was an alderman and when Alderman Wagman was an alderman. He never, you never had an issue with that. Uh, I will be glad to provide a bio of anyone for anyone, if people ask me. In this case, Alderman, uh, Vice President Barn did ask for a short bio. It was prepared. Uh, if my protocol has been what my predecessor practiced, for which you're fully aware of, Alderman, because you and I both served as Alderman then, and the pr previous predecessor to that mayor and before. There has never been an issue of bios being floated around. Uh, I at many times did not agree with the appointment, but it wasn't my call to make. 
I voted in favor, I trusted the judgment, and I held the person making the appointment accountable. That's the way it's always been in the past. That's the way I will continue it. If you would like bios about anyone, whatever is not confidential, as we've done the, our best to do so there, we don't include social security numbers and certain issues that are confidential. We keep it very plain, and that's the way it's been for the longest time, and that's the way I intend to keep it, unless there's a, a, a request made by an alderman or several aldermen. Thank you very much. Motion stands on the floor to approve the confirmation. And there's a second. Any more discussion? Roll call. Yes. Any more discussion? There is none. Please call the roll. Foreign? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan, Aye. Surik, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. and Wangaman. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Appointment is confirmed. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is proclamation for Bill Richards. Mr. Richards, please come up. Good evening, Bill. And just to reiterate what I've said in the past, one of the greatest things that I get to do as mayor is do proclamations, and it, it's, uh, it's really meaningful to me because we get to recognize very special people in the community and very committed people that show that not only do they love Sheboygan, but they're a big part of Sheboygan, and they impact people's lives in a very positive way. And tonight is no exception. And as I, as I read the, uh, the, the whereasses and the proclamation, I want us to just think about what, what, what's being read because it, it describes, as I said, a very, very special person that has accomplished an incredible amount for Sheboygan and the people of Sheboygan. Proclamation, whereas Bill Richards' con contributions to the city and the area's athletic history has been profound, including his 34 years as Fox River Valley Conference Commissioner and that is the longest tenure in WIAA history. Many successful years of high school coaching, and that is in basketball and cross country, softball and golf, and 29 years as speaker chairman, and that is 41 years total membership of the Sheboygan Elks Gridiron Committee, which has raised hundreds of thousands of dollars in scholarships for Sheboygan area student athletes. And whereas, outside of his monumental efforts in the sports fields, Bill Richards was also an esteemed educator at Sheboygan North for 33 years. And whereas Bill is serving his 25th year as Secretary of the Elks Lodge, where he was awarded Wisconsin Secretary of the Year 2007, making him the only recipient of that award in the 125-year history of the Wisconsin Elks Association. He also led the Sheboygan Lodge to an exalted ruler in 1977 through 78, and whereas Bill has served as chairman of the Elks National Foundation for 29 years, helping raise over $350,000 at the local level. He was singled out as Elks National Foundation Volunteer of the Month in 2006 from a membership of 2.5 million members. And whereas Bill introduced a dictionary project to the Elks Lodge, which has delivered over 850 dictionaries to third graders in the public schools and private schools of Sheboygan, and he has organized and mobilized Elks crews of Holiday Salvation Army bell ringers for over 30 years, Alderman Clayunas. And whereas Bill Richards will celebrate, he doesn't look it, his 70th birthday on June 4th, 2008. I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's here, it's here. <laughs> now, therefore, I, Juan Perez, by the virtue of the authority vested in me as a mayor of the city of Sheboygan, do hereby extend my personal thanks and congratulations to Bill Richards and declare June 4th, 2008, as Bill Richards Day. And I urge our council as well as our citizens to recognize Bill Richards and congratulate him on the occasion. I'll try not to keep you too long, but some of you that know me, uh, like Mark Hanna, is just ooh and an eye. Uh, Mark is a member of Sheboygan Elks Lodge 299, and we're, we're awfully proud of that. Uh, obviously, uh, 
you don't do any of these things alone. And when I say, you know, when I say that, I mean it uh, starting uh, with my wife, Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen, would you stand, please? She's the bashful one. She's uh, like every other uh, excellent wife and mother. She's been behind me and pushing me and also reining me in. And she has an excellent knack of doing that. And I do appreciate uh, all the support that she's given me and, and the things that we've been able to accomplish. Uh, also, of course, our family of four boys. She knew when we got married 39 years ago that I'd like to have a son, and she overdid it and gave, gave me four. So anyway, I, I want to tell you that over the years, I've had the chance uh, athletically and through the Elks to hand out awards and scholarships and plaques. And every now and then, there's someone that you give something to, and you're thinking as you listen to them, do they, they're not enjoying this as much as I am. So I want to dispel any thoughts about that. I'm, I'm tremendously honored, very much. Uh, I don't usually get emotional. I feel quite emotional right now. Uh, I want to thank the mayor and his staff. They not only uh, agreed to uh, when my son made this recommendation, but as, as Chris told me down in Nashville, that they were very, very diligent and, and did an excellent job. And I really appreciate that. And I might also add that Mayor Perez uh, welcomed all the Elks to our state convention back on May 3rd. We had about 400 people here and uh, did an excellent job. Uh, just a, a moment about being commissioner. Uh, you all hear about uh, Bud Selig and uh, uh, Gary Bettman's the NHL and guy and uh, David Stearns, the NBA guy, and those guys have great jobs. They probably don't do very much anymore because they have 100 people working below them. Uh, my job was to make sure officials got to the right place at the right time, and it was very enjoyable, and I met a lot of great people, people who were interested in, in the value of student athletes and, and what sports meant, so that, that was great. And, and I followed Red Peterson. Some of you might remember Marvin Red Peterson, uh, uh, he was my mentor in, in many ways. He, he was a commissioner for 14 years, gave me the job, and so I took it for the last 34. So of the 48 years of the Fox River Valley, we had two guys from Sheboygan North. So we're, we're really, as a, as a twosome, very proud of that. Uh, as far as the Elks Lodge is concerned, uh, we were just voted the number one lodge in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, there are 33 lodges, that's a tremendous honor. Uh, we're very proud uh, to receive it, and we deserve it. We're really excellent in everything that we do for kids, for veterans, to fight cerebral palsy, uh, youth bowling, soccer, basketball, the whole gamut. Uh, and I just want to mention, Doug Gruby is our, our exalted ruler, president now. We have a nice young membership. Uh, our chair officers, our four top guys are all young. This isn't a recruiting drive. But I also am the secretary, and I'd be very glad to take you on a tour of the lodge. Uh, what we are are caretakers. We have 650 members. I'm just one of those. I'm kind of a facilitator. I talk to the people, and the, and the people seem to do it. And uh, I get a lot of credit for it, just as I'm getting tonight. I'm not going to cut this up into 650 pieces, though. I'm not giving it away. But, but I want you to know that, that we have an outstanding group of people that give, give, and give, and donate. Uh, as uh, the mayor said, we've been around for 125 years. Uh, we've had 3,900 members. So uh, we're just caretakers, and we want to leave this lodge as good or better than when we took over. I've been a member 42 years, and, and we've seen some progress, but it was pretty darn good when we started. Uh, I, I do want to mention just a couple of people, then I'll leave you. Uh, Ron Glazer, who started uh, with me in 1978 with the Selks National Foundation. Uh, we, we've been six times first or second in the nation, and we're extremely proud of that. But again, Chet Harrison, uh, Dr. Gary Schwenzel, uh, Dick Hires, and then a little bit later on, uh, Dick Edmond, who's been a longtime friend of mine and an educator. Uh, Lou Malman and Rick Schultz, the current principal at North High. Those are all people that I want to make sure that, that they get the recognition that they deserve. And the last thing I want to say is that uh, eight years ago, I had quadruple bypass surgery. 
and I got many, many telegrams, letters, phone calls, cards, candy, which I didn't need. And uh, the comment I made when I wrote a letter of thanks in the paper, I think the only article I've ever sent to the paper, but I, I just said that uh, all of these memories will live in my heart forever. I've got to make some room for this award tonight. So thank you all very much. Next item on the agenda is a public forum. Madam City Clerk. Uh, yes, we have one person tonight. Uh, Mr. Felter, would you please come up? And if you'd like to stand right there and pull the mic up a little bit, Mr. Felter. Okay, my and address is 3605 Rosewood Court, right on the corner of Eisner Avenue. Okay, and you, you before will... I get into what I really had in mind, I wanted to mention that uh, Eisner Avenue is kind of migrating into my front yard due to the potholes, which are being fixed, but the debris and some chunks are more than hand size are cluttered all over the place, and people are stumbling over them. But what can I do with these chunks of blacktop when there is no disposal? I hate to go out there at night and toss them out in the ditch someplace, I would like the city to have a place where we can drop off this black top. It's all along Eisner Avenue, all the way from 8th to 21st Street, and uh, that we have a place to put it. But what prompted me here to come tonight is the two articles in the Sheboygan Press about our fuel crisis and also ways and means to how we can save money. So being from Germany, and having lived there the first 20 years of my life, in fact, in two days ago, on Saturday, the 31st, 1955, I stepped off the boat in New York with three German pennies in my pocket, 20 years old, which then were worth about three quarters of one cent. Today, those three pennies will probably be around four cents as the value goes down. So I can't afford to go over there anymore. It's going to be more expensive. <laughs> but uh, my last trip over there was in the year 2000. And like all the other years, I look around what they're doing in Germany. And one of the things that they're doing over there is the recycling, where they have bins located in strategic locations, usually where people go shopping, because they have to go out and buy groceries and these bins are to collect newspapers, aluminum cans, what have you. One concern there is scavenging, and you may have to redesign the covers, and, you know, wind will get into it and throw debris around. So there's various designs that they have, but this has been around for 20 years or even more. And here we have a trash collection with recyclables, and... I don't know why we're picking up the recycle because people have to go to the supermarket. I'm talking about a few bins, not all over the city on every street corner. And our public works department could save a lot of miles of driving by just going there once in a while and empty these bins out. So um, some of the things, you know, when you go to Germany and you find your way out of the beer garden. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> It's just an idea. Now, we knew already last year they promised us the uh, cost of gasoline is going to go up to $4. And today they promised us if there's a hurricane in the Gulf, the cost of gasoline is going to be 5 or $6 very quickly because most of the time 30% of the refineries will shut down during hurricanes. So there will be a crisis on this. Now, um, it's just something to think about and to plan ahead. Uh, speaking of birthdays, well, my birthday isn't coming up, but I'm only 26,636 days old today. 26,636. Doesn't sound like much. And I sometimes wonder why people always have to get a raise every 365 days. Why? Why? 365, they're doing the same thing, and they've got to get a raise. 
And speaking of raises and these, I would like to say that that should be the last item on the agenda. And it should be based on how much value it is for the taxpayers, what people produce, how much we get in return, rather than going out all the cities in the state of Wisconsin and say, who pays the highest, and oh yeah, we can do the same thing. And then um, the last item is the, the fuel for our trucks, and then we say, oh, we don't have any money left. So these things can all be avoided. So those are part of the new rules that I wanted to say, but that's all I have to do. And uh, I do enjoy the database that we have now available. And that made me think on the way up here, the database for the delinquents of our municipal court. Since it's already there on the computer, how much does it take to, to mail merge a writ for notice of payment or arrest to send out to these people? That should be a matter of minutes. I do class reunion books and I can merge 125 names in a matter of minutes. And we could use a database and that would definitely save a lot on the time that our judge has to spend on this. Um, this database, there's one other thing, since government is more open right now, I would like to see another one. Who's related to who? <laughs> that might be an eye-opener, too. So I thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Felder. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you. That's it. Okay. Okay, on that note, we will go to the public hearing. And the hearing is to amend the zoning ordinance to change the use district classification of property located at 2033 and 2035 Folger Court, Folger Court from class neighborhood residential to class urban commercial classification. Is there anyone that would like to address the council? Is there anyone that would like to address the council? Is there anyone? President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd make a motion to close the hearing. Second. Motion and second to close hearings. Under discussion. There being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Hearing is closed. Consent agenda, President Hanna, 5 1 through 525. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I <clears throat> move that all ROs be accepted and placed on file and all RCs be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second under discussion. Alderman Kittleson. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> I was, uh, would like to see uh, document 513 uh, on a separate vote, please. Okay. Because I, I need, need to abstain from I need from you to uh, make a motion to accept and adopt the RC. I make, a, make a motion. I know you're going to abstain, but go, somebody make a motion. Would somebody make a motion to accept and adopt 513? Is there a second? Second. Second. Under discussion, and I believe Alderman Kittleson would like this uh, uh, call on a separate vote because she will abstain. <clears throat> Any discussion on 513? The motion is to accept and adopt the report of committee. There being none, please call the roll. Falk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Abstain. Clionis? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. For Hasselt, Aye. Wangaman, Aye. and Boren. Aye. 15 ayes, 1 abstention. Motion carries. Now we will proceed to 5 1, 525. With that exception, the motion has been to approve the consent agenda. It's been second under discussion on consent. There is none. Please call the roll. Decker, Aye. Gisha, Aye. Hannah, Aye. Heideman, Aye. Kittleson, Clionis, Meyer, Aye. Montemayor, Rinfleisch, Ryan, Surik, Vanderweel, Verhasselt, Wangaman, Boren, Aye. and Bauk. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Communications and petitions 526 through 528 to be referred. Report of officers 2, 529 through 539 to be referred. Please make a notation on 534 on page 5. 534 will be referred to the Building Use Committee, not the Wellness Committee. Make a notation. 
Proceeding to page six, resolutions introduced three. 540 lies over. 541 by all the person Kittleson authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into agreement with Good For You Vending, LLC. Alderman Kittleson. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, with that, I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules, if I could. Explanation being that the operator of Good For You Vending would like to install two vending machines, uh, and he'd like that on a three-month trial basis. That, thank you. There's a motion and a second to suspend the rules. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Please make a motion. I make a motion that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion by Vice President Moore. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Alderman Kittleson, is, I would imagine this is going to be in addition to the, uh, the, other, the, the other vendor of machines. So just be in addition? Yes, just in addition. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other? Uh, mm -hmm. Alderman Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I know we are talking about going green in our um, city, and I'm just wondering if these machines are more energy efficient, and is there going to be any cost to the city in running these machines? Alderman okay. Kittleson. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm not certain as far as the going green with the machines, uh, Alderman Meyer. I do know that they will be stocked with good for you, uh, good healthy snacks for our people in conjunction with our wellness committee. And as, if you read through the contract, um, there will be the city will get 7% of the gross receipts, the same as what, we're, what we've done in the past with other vendors as well. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for that explanation. Mm -hmm. You may want to, uh, the, uh, because it is a three-month trial basis, perhaps make notations of was there, was there a lot of cost to the city, how much was there, if there was any, things like that that Alderman may have a question on. Okay. Alderman Rainfleisch. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I guess a question then as well for the original contract with our previous or existing vendor agreement. Does this um, uh, go against any language that's in that current agreement that we have? With, I'm sure it's, was it Watson that we have something with? Attorney McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. I don't know that I can answer that question, Alderman for uh, Rinfleisch. Perhaps Alderman Kittleson can address that. I, I don't believe uh, there's any conflict that would preclude us from doing this. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, in answer to that question, when we checked, uh, the contract is, is the same as what we do with other vending companies as well. So there, everything should be um, the same. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there being no more discussion, please call the roll. Yesha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wonkeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 542 lies over. 543 through 549 to be referred. Report of committees six. And we have a series here for our Vice President Bourne. 550 by law and licensing, recommending denying taxi cab driver's license number 7403 based on public safety concerns and the applicant's failure to cooperate with the committee. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. I um, move that the report of the committee be accepted and adopted. Motion and second. Under discussion. Under discussion is uh, Jeffrey uh, Shanholtz here tonight. He's not here, Your Honor. Very well. Please proceed. Uh, Mr. Shanholtz had two opportunities to appear before our committee, and uh, he did not appear. And based on uh, his public uh, on public safety concerns and the applicant's failure to cooperate with the committee, we uh, denied the license. Thank you very much, Vice President Bourne. Any other discussion? There being none, please call the roll. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Gisha? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 551 by law and licensing, recommending denying the change of premises for alcohol license number 2265 based upon state law. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Motion and second. second. Under discussion. 
under discussion, is there a representative of the Seabird restaurant here tonight? There isn't, Your Honor. Very well, please proceed. Uh, under discussion on this, uh, the original application by the Seabird we had to deny because of state law. However, the Seabird is uh, possibly going to be making a, another request for a change of premise that would be within the law and there's a good chance they're going to be back at our June 10th meeting to have that approved, but this one we, we could not approve. All right, well, thank you, Mr. President Bourne. Alderman Ryan, discussion? Thank you, Mr. Mr. Mayor. Um, Alderman Bourne answered my question. I just wanted to make sure that there was a, an upcoming forum for the Seabird to reapply. Thank you. Okay. Any further discussion? <clears throat> there be a none. Please call the roll. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. And Hannah? Aye. 16 Aye. ayes. Motion carries. 552 by law and licensing, recommending denying beverage operators license number 7882 based on the applicant's failure to include all relevant convictions on the license application, violations related to the licensed activity, record as a repeat law violator, and good record and record of specific violations which make the applicant ineligible to hold a license. Vice President Borden. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the report of the committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Under discussion is Teresa Horner here tonight. She's not here, Your Honor. Very well, please continue. Uh, Ms. Horner uh, appeared before our committee last Tuesday night and after, uh, after listening to her a discussion of her violations uh, because of the specific violations with ma which make the applicant ineligible to hold a license, the license was denied. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? There is none. Please call the roll. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Vanderweel? Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. And Heidemann? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. 553 by law, law and license in recommending denying beverage operators license number 7871 based on multiple recent violations related to the license activity. Vice President Boren. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the report of the committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Under discussion is uh, Joseph Phelan here tonight. He's not here, Your Honor. Very well, please continue. Uh, Mr. Uh, Phelan did appear before our committee last Tuesday night and uh, it was the decision of the committee to uh, deny the license based on his uh, multiple recent violations re related to the licensed activity. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? <clears throat> there being none, please call the roll. Clayunas? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. And Kittleson? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. And we have two more. 554, by law and license in re recommending denying beverage operators license number 7877, based on the applicant's failure to include all relevant convictions of a license application, violations related to the license activity, and record as a repeat law violator. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the report of the committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Under discussion is Andrew Rivas here tonight. He's not here, Your Honor. Very well, please continue. Uh, Mr. Rivas did appear before our committee last Tuesday night and after discussion, uh, the committee voted uh, unanimously to uh, deny the license uh, based on violations related to the lic license activity and his record as a repeat law violator. Thank you very much. Under further discussion, there is none. Please call the roll. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. And Clayunas? Aye. 
16 ayes. Motion carries. 555 by law and licensing recommending denying beverage operators license number 5193 based on the applicant's failure to include all relevant convictions on the license application, violations related to the licensed activity, and record as a repeat law violator. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Aye. Motion and second under discussion. Under discussion is Tony Real here tonight. She's not here, Your Honor. Very well, thank you. Please proceed. Uh, Ms. Rail did appear before our committee last Tuesday night, and after discussion of her record, uh, the committee voted unanimously to deny the application based on her uh, violations related to the license activity and her record as a repeat law violator. Thank you very much, Vice President Bourne. Any further discussion? There is none. Please call the roll. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. And Meyer? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Ordinance has introduced 10, 556 through 573 to be referred. Matters laid over 11, 449, RO. If I may. I didn't uh, see the light. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, under the to be referred, I'm sorry, I missed you again this, uh, this week. I wasn't fast enough. Item 549. After consulting with the chair of salary and grievances, uh, I think if we could have 549 sent to the committee, the whole, please, uh, that might be a, a good forum to have the conversation about that document before it gets to salary and grievances. By uh, that'd be 549 by all the person born, Clayunas, Heidemann, and Verhassel, authorizing a city of Sheboygan residency requirement for all newly hired, including full-time and part-time non-represented employees. That will go to salary and grievance, and as requested, to committee of the whole. Thanks, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Are you ready for 449? <laughs> yes, I am. Thank you. Uh, did I read that, though? I don't think I did. I don't think so. Let me read that. <laughs> All right. 449, RO number 420809 by the City Plan Commission re recommending rezoning property located at 2033 and 2035 Folger, Folger Court from class neighborhood residential to class urban commercial classification. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I move to accept and file the report of officer and the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. And Meyer? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 455 resolution number 2808-09 by all the persons Gisha, Kleunis, Boren, Bauk, and Montemayor authorizing the purchasing agent to enter into a contract for buildings and property insurance coverage. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the uh, resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second under discussion. Uh, uh, if anyone's curious, this is our standard property insurance package that we buy through as the same way as all municipalities buy throughout the state. Okay. Could I ask you to do one thing, Alderman Gisha? As, and If you would look at the... Uh, that now, therefore, be it resolved that the purchase and agent, we have none. So, or the, could you amend that to say, or the appropriate city official? So amended. Is there, second. Is there a second? On the amendment discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Now I need a motion to put it upon its passage as amended. Thank you. As uh, I move that the resolution be put upon its passage as amended. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. And there's a second. And under discussion, Alderman Verhassel. Thank you, Your Honor. Can I just ask uh, whether yourself or the chair of the committee, how often do we run comparables? I see in the second whereas that, you know, we assume there's reasonable rates out there. I'm just curious if we run comparables every so often to confirm this. Mm -hmm. Alderman Kisha. Thank you. I'd be happy to answer that to the best of my ability. The, uh, the committee was reported to that basically this is a pool coverage situation where we, along with all other municipalities, not only 
share in the savings of bulk purchase, but also share in the uh, in the risk, and therefore the uh, the rates are. Uh, comparing it, you can't compare this type of insurance to raw state. Some of this coverage, the only place you can get it is through these municipal this municipal carriers. So it's a bulk state, much like the bulk purchasing power we use for various other items throughout the state of Wisconsin. Okay. And we need to call roll. Mm -hmm. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Gisha, Aye. Hannah, Aye. Heidemann, Aye. Kittleson, Clyunas, Meyer, Aye. and Montemayor. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 456, resolution number 290809 by all the persons Gisha, Clyunas, Born, Bauk, and Montemayor, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2008 budget, establishing revenue and appropriations for money from the Sheboygan County Circuit Court for local drug abuse prevention programs and monies received for drug enforcement activities from the federal government. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. And Rinfleisch? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 457, resolution number 30809 by all the persons Meyer, Kittleson, Decker, Vanderweel, and Clayunas authorizing entering into a professional service agreement to assist in preparing plans, specifications, and estimate submittal to the Wisconsin Department of Transportation for Indiana Avenue. Alderman Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second under discussion. There would be a none. Please call the roll. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. And Ryan? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 472. General Ordinance Number 70809 by all the persons Meyer repealing and recreating Division 10 of Article 5 of Chapter 2 of the Municipal Code relating to renaming of the Commission on Aging to the Senior Activity Center Commission. Alderman Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the General Ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Under discussion, discussion Your Honor. I would like to also make a motion to amend section 2-730 under paragraph B. And it's under the Monday through Thursday, continuing the one hour lunch period each day. And on varied, I would like to place days and evenings as established by the mayor's office in consultation with the Senior Activity Center Commission, except for city observed holidays. And the reason for this is that Hold it on. will make Is it there easier. A second to that amendment? Sorry. Second. Okay, second. No, please. Sorry. That's okay. And the reason for this would be to make it easier for the senior center to operate on some of these off days. They have um, special fundraising, and this way they don't have to always come back into the council and ask for permission to be open on those days. Makes sense to me. Thank you very much. Uh, Alderman Oak. Oh. Thank you, Your Honor. I would just like to say that whatever we, whatever we name it, it's a fantastic facility, and I'd encourage uh, all of Sheboygan uh, to come check it out, the Senior Activity Center. It's got a lot of great programs for people, uh, keeps them busy, keeps them involved in the city. And to our new neighbors in Landmark Square, I'd like to encourage them, if they are new to the community, would like to encourage them to go down to the Senior Activity and check out what Wendy Schmitz and her team has put together there. Very good. Thank, Thank you, Your Honor. On the amendment, any discussion on the amendment? There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We need a motion to... As amended. And a motion to put the, the general ordinance upon its passage as amended. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. <clears throat> Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. And Surik? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 
473, General Ordinance Number 80809 by all the persons Hannah, Rindfleisch, Ryan, Heidemann, and Kittleson relating to no, no parking any time zone so as to add a no parking any time zone along the west side of North 6th Street from two, 284 feet to 325 feet north of the north curb line of Wisconsin Avenue. President Hamm. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Okay. Motion and second under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Foran? Aye. Falk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rindfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. And Vanderweel? 16 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters authorized by law, 574, a resolution by Older Person Kittleson and Verhassel <coughs> directing a public hearing from the rezoning of property located at 1003 South 14th from Class Urban Industrial to Class Urban Commercial Classification. Alderman Kittleson. Thank you, Your Honor. I would make a motion that we put the resolution upon its pas passage, please. Motion and second under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 575 will go to public works. Other matters? Attorney McQueen. 576 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Fire Chief Wostowski responding to a request from Alder Person Hanna, Chairman of Public Protection and Safety Committee, to supply a copy of the Quality Assurance Plan for committee review. That will be referred to Public Protection and Safety. 577 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting an application for rezoning property located at 1003 South 14th Street, paren Mad Max convenience stores, from Use District Classification UI Urban Industrial to UC Urban Commercial Classification. That will go to City Plan Commission. <clears throat> 578 is a resolution executing a bicycle rack placement agreement between Sheboygan County, the City of Sheboygan, and third parties. That will be referred to Public Works Committee. 579 is a resolution authorizing the City of Sheboygan to initiate a shared services study with the Sheboygan County government for the purposes of determining the most cost-effective, efficient location for a joint emergency dispatch. That will be referred to City County Shared Services Committee. Five. Excuse, hold on. Alderman Brassel. Excuse me, Your Honor, could I also have that sent to finance? Um, what's the rationale for that? Just... Uh, what's a finance-related matter? It does. It'll be referred to finance. Continue. 580 is an ordinance amending the City of Sheboygan official zoning map of the Sheboygan Zoning Ordinance to change the use district classification of property located at 1003 South 14th Street from Class UI Urban Industrial to Class UC Urban Commercial Classification. And that will be referred to City Plan Commission. 581 is a resolution authorizing the tourism manager to enter into a contract with Bartolotta Fireworks Company for the July 4, 2008 fireworks display. And that will be referred to Finance Committee. 582 is an ordinance creating Article 6 of Chapter 30 of the Municipal Code relating to retail gasoline and diesel fuel sales. That will be referred to Public Protection and Safety. 583 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2008 and June 30, 2009. That will go to Law and Licensing Committee. 584 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2008, 2009, and 2010. And that will also go to law and licensing. Keep in mind, you've got a busy week ahead of you, a couple of weeks. 84 documents. Need a motion to adjourn? Is there any motion to adjourn? Second. Motion and second. Any discussion of adjournment? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Stand adjourned.